everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another weigh-in video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I did on the scale after an eventful weekend. And also, I'm gonna do a meal prep review for the breakfast and lunch that I made for meal prep on Sunday. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel. All right, before I share my weigh-in results, I do wanna share that my daughter wanted me to give a message, and I'm afraid if I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. She wanted to say thank you for all the birthday wishes. She really appreciated it. We did not end up having any time to do any vlogging or anything. The weekend just really got away from us. So Saturday I had my grandson. In fact, I put, those are the clips that I put at the end of the meal prep video, which thank you for the kind words about him. And then my daughter came Saturday. So she was here Saturday night. And then Sunday we had a birthday party for her. Her birthday was actually last Friday. So Sunday we had a birthday party for her. My mother made a huge uh, rigatoni, brought that over. I put together a salad. We did have cake. I ate the cake. You know my saying on that, I just eat the cake and move on. And then Monday, my son and daughter-in-law and grandson came back over. They worked the weekend, so they weren't able to make it when my mother was here. So they ended up coming Monday, which was actually a very nice day. So it ended up being me and my husband, our two children, uh, Justin and Caitlin, and then our daughter-in-law and grandson. And so we had a little bit of an event with my grandson on Monday, and I'll insert that clip right here. Oh, what did you do to the Cheerios? <laughs> <laughs> Logan, what did you do? <laughs> so as you see, the poor thing, bless his heart, he was trying to help clean up. He just wanted some Cheerios. So usually when he comes here, he knows where the Cheerios are and he'll get them out and he'll hand them to me because I'm usually right there. Well, this particular day, I was actually showing my son and daughter-in-law the clips that I had taken, the ones that I put at the end of the meal prep video, and I was showing them, them those videos. The next thing we know, we heard pshh, and we look and he's just going like that. But anyway, so like I said, I had a couple days where I just kind of let it go. I didn't, I didn't track. I didn't keep, I, I was mindful, I was very mindful of that cake I was eating, very mindful. It was delicious and uh, got on the scale this morning and I was up 1.8. I deserved it, so I'm okay with it. I don't like the weigh-ins where you do really good and then you still gain. So this was a deserved gain, but the good thing is I got right back on. So I had kind of Saturday night is where we kind of snacked a little bit Saturday night and then when my daughter got here and then so I had Sunday and Monday and my mother made so much rigatoni that we actually had that on both days and I am not good with pasta I if you notice on my channel I really don't make pasta a whole lot and that's why because I just always seem to have problems with portion control that's why one of the reasons I'm kind of afraid to try purple because I'm afraid that I would eat way too much pasta so anyway, I had a couple bad days, but the good thing is come Tuesday, I got right back on track. And that was why it was real important for me to do my meal planning and do my meal prepping because I knew that I was gonna need it. I knew that I was gonna have a couple bad days. So that was very important for me to be able to get right back on track. And I did, and I've done well. I almost wasn't gonna get on the scale this morning just cause I, I could tell, I can always tell when I'm up. I know when I've gained. Uh, but I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get on there. I knew that it was gonna be up, so. And I wanna let you know, it's getting a little bit dark here. The sun's starting to come down, and I don't have, I've mentioned a million times, I don't have lights for at nighttime. I really probably need to start investing. I used to do my weigh-in videos in the morning before I went to work, and now I've changed to doing them at night, because my weigh-in video is kind of my time to just let it out and just chat with you all. I don't have a script. I don't make a plan on what I'm gonna say what I'm gonna talk about I mean I may have like a topic once in a while but for the most part it's my day to just be free be myself not have you know a scheduled thing and I just chit chat and I felt like when I did the when I filmed it in the morning I was in such a hurry to get to work that I just felt like I was skipping things and not sharing a lot so this is my day that I just can kind of sit here and chit chat and go off into left field right field and in between 
All right, so let me know in the comments how you did on your weigh-ins or if you had any non-scale victories this week. I actually was trying to think of a non-scale victory that I had and I really couldn't think of too many. Although I will say the one non-scale victory I had was there was one piece of cake left like two days later and the old me would have been like, well, I can't throw that away. I might as well eat it. My husband didn't want it, which, you know, usually I can get him to eat the last piece of cake. He didn't want it, and so I threw it away. And so that was my non-scale victory. That was a victory for me. So let me know in the comments how you're doing with yours. So now I'll move on to meal prep review, and then I wanna talk briefly about kind of some plans for the rest of the year. So for meal prep review, everything was excellent. For breakfast, I did the breakfast bentos. I really enjoyed those. It was such a nice change from the norm. Anybody who makes hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot, you all know those are so easy to peel. Like literally, I kept the shells on them and then when I was at work, I just kind of just crushed it to you know break the, sh the shell a little and they literally just come like pulled apart in half. Now, my husband felt like with the blackberries and the bacon mixed together in the same container, he felt like his bacon almost tasted like blackberries. I didn't notice that in mine. That poor yogurt, though, didn't get eaten again for breakfast. <laughs> That's why I had those this week, because I planned on them last week and didn't end up eating them. So I put them in with this week. It was just too much food. But what I did do is I had them as a mid-morning snack. So I had my breakfast and then I ate the yogurt later and then had a late lunch. And then for the lunch prep, the ground chicken taco bake, we loved that. I will say when I did my meal prep review, I mentioned to you that it was, I tasted it and it was kind of spicy, but it really didn't seem spicy when I ate it this week. So I'm not sure why. I did end up cutting up some cilantro and putting cilantro on mine. So if you remember, I didn't put cilantro in mine. The recipe called for mixing the cilantro with the lime juice and yogurt, the fat-free yogurt. And I didn't end up doing that because my husband doesn't like cilantro. So I sprinkled some cilantro on the top of mine. That was really good. I ended up taking the tomatoes off of my lettuce. I had, if you remember, I had a bed of, bed of lettuce with tomato on the side. I just put, after I heated it, I put the tomatoes over the top of the actual casserole. And then I just ate the lettuce with my salad dressing. So I really enjoyed that and I would definitely make it again. And I'm glad that I didn't make two servings of it. I was going to double it up and I'm glad I didn't do that because it was plenty enough. Yeah, it seems like it's getting really dark. Let me see if my ring light will work better. All right, I think that's better. I got my little ring light. I don't know what I'm gonna do when we change the clocks. When we change the clocks, it's gonna be dark even earlier. Hopefully I can adjust that lighting in the first part of the video. If not, I apologize for it being so dark. And also, I wanna mention for dinner one night, we made the uh, sheet pan kielbasa bowls. And usually I make those with rice, but this time I cut up some potato and I put some potato on the sheet pan with all the vegetables and the kielbasa and I put the and I just roasted those with it and that was really good. My husband said he actually liked it with the potatoes and I think I did too. And I believe with the amount of potatoes I used it cut it down a point. So that's just an option and if you're on purple that would lower your points because you're not going to have that rice. Unless you're on purple and you use brown rice. With brown rice it it is zero. So the last thing I want to talk about is the rest of the year. So it is October and we could very well say, oh my gosh, it's just, you know, it's been a heck of a year and I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get through the end of the year and start over in January. But here is my thinking on that because I have been one. I've done that before. I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. Just, just let it go and start over in January. But if we do that, if I do that, I'm going to have that much more weight that I'm gonna have to lose come January. So, I am not going to say, oh, forget it, I'll wait until January. I'm going to still work the pr program. I'm gonna do the best I can. My goal is to finish out 2020 good. Uh, no matter how you look at it, it's kind of been a crappy 2020. And then you know me, I'm a positive. <laughs> I have a positive outlook on life. I look at the positive and everything. And yes, it could have been worse, but for the most part, 2020 was horrible. I mean, for a lot of people. 
So I really want to get through the next couple months and not be up come January. So I'm really going to try hard. I am going to challenge myself that, you know, the bottom line is when I look back, I've just done, I've teeter-tottered all year and I really want 2021 to be my year. So I just really am going to work really hard to get past the, to get through these next couple months. I'm making a commitment to myself that I am going to plug away no matter what. I'm going to enjoy the holidays. When we get to the holidays, I'm going to enjoy those. And there is that word. So when I was talking about this to my husband and saying that, you know, when the holidays come or when Caitlin was here for her birthday, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm not going to track my food and this and that. And I got thinking about that and that we're training our minds that enjoying ourselves with food means that you have to eat off track. Because I always say, I'm gonna enjoy myself, I'm not gonna track anything. But honestly, when I eat like crap, I feel like crap. And when I eat healthy, I feel healthy. And I love eating healthy. I love eating good. I love fruits and vegetables. I love lean meats. I love eggs. So when I eat healthy, I feel great and I enjoy eating healthy. So I don't know why it is that I always use those words, I'm gonna just enjoy myself. Because it's not really fun. Like, yes, the cake was good, but I didn't feel good after. And, it, and in your mind, you don't feel good while you're eating it. So just something to think about. And let me know in the comments how many of you do that. Do you think to yourself, I'm just gonna enjoy myself. And when you're saying that, it's like you're convincing yourself that enjoyment means eating like crap, basically. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you do. All right, make sure to let me know in the comments how you did. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Bye.